what is up YouTube, my name is Mama and today I'm here to talk about the new RTX 4000 series graphics card, especially DLSS 3 because there's been a lot of buzz around it, but DLSS 3 ko samajhne ke liye samajhna what is DLSS. DLSS stands for Deep Learning Super Sampling. Imagine kari aapko koi bhi game chalani hai, 4K, 2K, even 1080p pe. So what DLSS does is, wo game ko leta hai, ek lower resolution pe render karta hai usko, aur AI ki madad se, wo image ko upscale karta hai. Now what this does, is because game lower resolution per render ho hai, it uses less resources, it gives you more performance and of course it's using AI and all the new tech, all the new magic to upscale the image so you don't have any noticeable quality drop in the image ke andar, and you get a lot more FPS So what's so special about DLSS 3? I have already super resolution ke mein already bata diya hai. you've been using NVIDIA Reflex for a while now which is system latency kam karte hai, but what makes DLSS 3 so special is the fact that it has something called AI frame generation I know it sounds very fancy, very difficult to understand, but trust me, on the surface level, it's incredibly easy to understand. But of course, the back-end magic is very difficult to understand. So the way it works is, you take one frame, take another frame, using optical flow accelerator and motion vectors, what it does is, between these two frames, it generates an additional frame and it can give you two times the performance. Now, the funny thing is, between super resolution and AI frame generation, this technology can generate 7 out of 8 pixels displayed on screen which means it can potentially give you 4 times the performance which is unheard of and the difference is visible it's more than visible as a matter of fact you have game khele bete very demanding titles right it's phenomenal it just feels so good knowing for a fact that now you don't have to worry about your your cpu bottlenecking your gpu or frames not enough frames being generated and the reason why I say that you don't have to worry about your CPU bottlenecking your GPU is because of the fact that if your GPU is more than your CPU, it can generate frames faster than your CPU can process it. What DLSS 3 does, it, it, it eliminates the queue completely. Right? So it can generate frames independently of the CPU, which even in CPU bound cases can give you two times the performance. So now I have a challenge for you folks. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take three videos, play them side by side, and in three videos, there are three videos in different settings. One, which has not been done with DLSS enhancement. Second, which has been used only super resolution. And third, which has been used super resolution and frame generation. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to black out the FPS so you don't know which one's which. And I want you guys to take a guess and see if you can correctly identify. But regardless, I still want you guys to try it. So here's the gameplay. I don't know if you guys were able to differentiate between which video was which, but let me tell you, this was a video with no DLSS, no enhancements, absolutely nothing, the game running bare bone on extreme settings. By the way, all these three games, so all the three videos that you see were running on extreme settings. So this was a video with no DLSS. This was the video with just super resolution and no frame generation, which still gave me 10 to 15% more FPS compared to averaging around 100 frames. I was getting 110 to 115 FPS, which is brilliant. But now, this was the video with DLSS 3 completely enabled, which means frame generation and super resolution, which gave me 65 to 70% more frames, which is bonkers. I've never heard of something like this. I've never seen something like this. And to witness, witness it myself, to experience it myself, was phenomenal. So here's the entire life for you folks to compare it and see it for yourselves with the numbers, with the visuals and everything.
I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Would I recommend getting this this entire series of graphics card? Absolutely. If you're heavily invested in DLSS 3 games and the games that support it, I would 10 on 10 recommend it. Games like Microsoft Flight Simulator, Forza Horizon 5, etc. These are the games that I am interested in. Heavily benefit from this and uh, there's no reason that I see for you folks to not have it, right? So my recommendation 10 on 10 works really well. I tried it myself, uh, the proof's right in front of you. But apart from that, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like down below, subscribe, leave a comment as well on what do you think about the new features and I'll see you guys in the next one.